you know, a lot of us are so distracted right now and we don't even realize it. And as I was just kind of meditating on a few verses, one verse, uh, a story really came to mind and it's the story of Mary and Martha. And I know we read this passage and we think about serving, but um, God was just reminding me of so many more things. And I'll talk about what that is in a second. But I just want to read this verse. It starts in verse 38 of uh, Luke chapter 10. And it says, Now it happened as they went that he entered a certain village and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was distracted with much serving and she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore, tell her to help me. And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things, but one thing is needed. And Mary has chosen that good part, which will not be taken away from her. And it's, um, you know, really rebuking, but yet very encouraging passage, right? Where we often talk about how we're so distracted with, you know, serving and using our hands and feet and doing things that's not a focus on Jesus. And what I was just reminded of, um, which, uh, you know, correlates to just anything that you guys are doing in life, whether, you know, you're um, just going about your normal day, you're busy with work, you're busy with, um, you know, focus on something. Uh, Really what this is saying to me is that the focus needs to be on Christ, that we need to be looking towards him, that we need to be gazing upon him, that we need to be spending time in his presence and to really be able to shift our heart and just our um, our subtle, just the subtle kind of thing within us that we're not looking, we're not idolizing something else above God, but we're really looking and, and spending that intimacy with, with Jesus. And I was just so encouraged because, you know, many of us, we're in a season now where we're looking and we're hoping for things. And as much as the Lord can use some good, he can use uh, a good situation. He can use deliverance. He can use, you know, um, an activity. He can use a circumstance or whatever it is for, for good. But if we put our hope, if we put our focus, if we put uh, these things on that uh, as opposed to, um, to God and to Jesus, then we get lost, right? And it's not really that serving is bad. It's not that washing your dishes and preparing food and, you know, looking to uh, a deliverance or a, a certain circumstance to to happen that's positive or whatever it may be. It's not bad in and of itself, but it's the fact that we worship or we focus, we put our heart towards, or we idolize something above Jesus. And that's what I was reminded of in this passage because, you know, Martha was worried and troubled about many things. And so even if it you know, it doesn't seem like you're anxious and worried about something. It is if you are putting that above the Lord. And if you put your attention, your energy, your effort, and you're just concerned about things that are of um, not Christ, then you are um, idolizing and you are putting that essentially as God above of Christ. And so I just was, wanted to, uh, just was reminded of this and wanted to just encourage you guys, because many of us are going through a circumstance whether in your personal life or whether just um, circumstantially at the macro level with, um, you know, whatever is going on in the world, whatever you're reading, whatever you're listening to, whatever you're involved in uh, a community or whatever it is. Oftentimes we can be worried about it. We can be anxious about it and we turn our attention off of it. And it could be just daily things, right? You're reading the news. Maybe you're working. Maybe you're looking at, you know, your finances. Maybe you're looking at your family. You're looking at uh, the fact that you want to, you know, just um, get a paycheck and, and be able to live. Um, so much of these things, if we are distracted by it, if we're not, uh, if we're worried about it and troubled by it, then of course, that's not the right mindset, the right attitude and the right heart behind it. And so Christ was uh, needed uh, as the only thing for which you, as it says here, it would not be taken away from her. And so you don't want to take away Christ from any situation. So if you are seeking him, that's great. If you are, um, you know, missing it and you're distracted by stuff, I would just encourage you to uh, refocus because as this passage is saying, as this story is saying, Martha Martha was very uh, distracted. Her heart was turned away and um, divided, but Mary knew what uh, was needed, which is to spend time in the presence of, of him. And so I want to encourage you guys with that. If you don't know, you know, really what that means, I would start with prayer. I would start with reading of the word. And then from there, um, you know, just 
as you're dialoguing with him, as you're singing song, as you're worshiping and, um, you know, whatever activity it is that where you can actually um, hear from him and seek him, I would encourage those things. But it really starts with the word. It starts with prayer. And so I want to just encourage you guys with that because... Uh, whatever's going on in life, we can be so quick to turn left, turn right. Even though Jesus is in our house, he's right there in front of us. He's just yearning for you to be at his uh, feet right next to him, spending time with him. And as much as Jesus uh, in person was in Martha's, Martha and Mary's um, home there, um, Martha missed it. So you guys don't want to miss it. You don't want to uh, shove him aside. Uh, but really, when you have that time, which is which should be every day, all the time, right? Uh, but it's really about the heart. And is your heart moved this way or that way, away from him or with him? And so, um, you know, some of these things are not bad in and of itself, but it, it is if you're distracted by it and you're worried about it and you're troubled by it. And so I want to encourage you guys with that. Um, God bless you guys, and I'll talk to you guys soon.